Welcome back to the Yorkshire Dales. <laughs> As you know, my uh, dais just stopped working. <laughs> oh, disaster! Anyway, I uh, figured out I'd bent the clip on the charger and it just wasn't charging. It seemed to be, but it wasn't. So it was flat and it didn't work. So for people who've got a dais, if your battery's flat, it says on your controller, uh, no coil. But uh, anyway, I, I bought a couple of new ones to be on the safe side and an emergency charger. <laughs> and now we're back in action. And uh, hey, look, I'm not sure what it is, but it, it's uh, it's a goodie. So we'll go back where we went with the Viking and didn't have any luck and see. Oh, oh I'll. I'm glad I've got my days back. <laughs> oh, love my days. Merry Christmas. Half a horseshoe with a bar on the end. This will be a very short hunt because um, I'm only about a quarter charged. Uh, I just wanted to make sure it worked. Oh, we got a bronze penny. Uh, 1877. Queen Victoria. Mm, it's a bit grotty. Ah, there she is. Look. Just see a hair at the back. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, I think it's a George, well, I know it's a George 3. I'm not sure if it's a half penny or a penny. Uh, gonna have to clean it up. I'm sorry to say I went over this ground with a Viking the other day. So, Deus, you're winning hands down. Compulsory iron ring. <laughs> Let the hunt begin. I'm expecting bad weather any time. <sighs> Nip in the air, it's winter. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna say climb ball, but look. What we got there? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. They're a very small bronze ring. Hey, <laughs> something different. Oh, a coin ball! Time for a coin ball. <laughs> oh, can't see anything. Okay, let's chip away that edge. <laughs> oh, coming in. Oops, there. Uh -huh. Not much left. Not much left. Oh, so let me check. Oh, well, it's still in there. Oh, there it is. Oh, I've got another of them rings. Huh. That would eat, look. That's what I'm looking for. That is William. I don't know if it's William and Mary, but I'll have to clean it up. But that's William the third at least. So we're looking 1690 something, about 1700. Hey, silver at last. Oh, God, it's taken long enough. Oh, super button lock. Uh, rampant lion with a. Is that, it's a fire, a uh, pyre, what do they call a fire pyre, I think. Are they, what are they, pigeons? No, it's fire. Yeah, very reminiscent of the uh, Armada bit, you know, where they had the, 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 the lights. Oh, I shall have to look you up. You're a button, of course. <laughs> oh, yes, nice one. A clog clip. I haven't had one of those over here. Well, I have now. No pattern on it. Not that I can see. A clog clip. It's a clasp. <laughs> Too much to expect another silver, but... It's uh, one of these Georgian... Uh, can't make out what they are type things. Uh, the smaller than normal half pennies. Could well be tokens. Uh, so you, you just can't can't make anything out. 
George 123. George Earn. 1800. Ish, 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 ish. Oh, another one in the same hole. Oh, very grotty. Uh, number three out of that hole, and I'm still getting bleeps. Uh, I'm wondering if I'm on a little coin hoard or a coin spill. Uh, getting high numbers. I keep hoping the silver. Oh, number four, and the hole's gone quiet. <laughs> oh, well. I'll leave the muck on there and see what I can do when I get home. <laughs> Yet another little ring, that's number three. <sighs> hmm, oh, I might get another ten minutes or so, I suppose, if I try. <laughs> uh, and another one, number four. Oh, I wish I could. <laughs> four bronzes over there, four rings. I wish I could pull four silvers out. <laughs> right, I'm just trying out, since I've got very little charge in this head, I'm trying out this emergency thing here. It's a, a double A battery. Clicks on, and look, it, it charges. Uh, it's an emergency charger. You can see the red light there, so it's obviously working. I'll just leave that on for a few minutes and uh, have another look to see if it's charged it up at all on the meter. Okay, calling it today. Uh, just waiting for my daughter to arrive. Got a chunk of lead. And a military button. I think it's Royal Artillery, I'm not sure. I think that's a cannon. Although I'm not sure. Hmm. We'll have to check it up. Anyway, I'll see you at the roundup. I do like the look of these clouds coming in, look. Oh, oh, oh. See you later. Bye. Okay. <laughs> I'm back with a vengeance. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm back in action with a dais. Um, I was off two three days with it while I was getting the charges and all that fixed up but I put it to good use reading up the manual um, letter for letter and today I was working mostly in uh, GM power and it uh, it was picking up the little bits but this is what GM power does let's start with Junkite um, it picks up really tiny tiny things this is a piece of a folded this is, it's probably got something written inside that, but I tried to open it and it just, it just flaked off immediately. There's no way I can unravel that. Um, just pieces of metal. Uh, I tend to pick them up now, I'm never, on these sort of sites, I'm never quite sure just what they were. Um, but, uh, yeah, little things like this, they just... <laughs> <laughs> My imagination runs riot with these things, you know. <laughs> and here we go, look. Um, a, a very, very small calibre bullet there. I think it's for a... a, a I'm not sure it is a 2.2. I think it's a 177. Does it say... What does it say on the end there? Uh, ah, 177. Right. Ah, these... They gave a nice belting 80 signal, you think, hello, but they're just big and they're round and they, they cause the right reactions for your computer, for your, your detector to say, hey, they're worth digging up. Look, I, only, I don't do iron, but I brought that to, now there's a buckle and a half, if that had been bronze, I'd have been jumping up and down from the rooftops. <laughs> Piece here, not sure what, bit thicker than the others. No idea what it come off. Lead, well, we've got the usual um, chunky grot. We've got the hello, what are you type pieces, um, which seem to have peeled off from somewhere. And then we've got this one, this is interesting. Uh, it, it's got a little pyramid on the top, look, four sided. Uh, I presume that is the top. No. Does it go that way up? Does it go that way up? No idea what it is. There's there's nothing in that end to suspend it from. It's just got this p 
pyramid bit on the top. Pointy bit. Now, how about this for a bit of junk height? Um, it's got a slot in it. Something obviously goes in there. Um, it's fastened to it there. There's a hinge. That That's a hinge, is that? And this is all bronze, by the way. Uh, that, that clicks up when it's when it's finished, presumably, doing what you do with it. But I have no idea what it is. No, not at all. It's heavy and it's bronze. Okay, what I call goodies. Hey, little rings. Uh, uh, they're, they're, they're bronze. Or um, probably copper. I think they're copper, actually, not bronze. Because they, they tend to go grotty. But four of them. One, two, three, four. The clasp of a clog, a clog clasp. Um, that's the first I've found there, I think, in, in that particular field. Um, let's do the coins. Can't, can't identify these. They're, they're somewhere, the Georgian, they're somewhere between 1750 and 1800. They could be George 1, 2, 3. Um, I've, I've had lots of these. They're thin, they're worn, and there's no way of, of identification. I uh, got a Victoria there, Penny. 1877. Very, very grotty. Uh, 1807, George. There we go. Let's see if I can get it uh, to focus. Um, but believe me, that does say 1807. <laughs> And there's very hard to tell. Look, see the one, two, three, the three marks on the top there? That's George III. One, two, three. It says Georgius three, And that's his head in there. But this is what it does to the, to the coinage. Ah, uh, right. William III. 1696 shilling. Very worn. But that, that's William III, there's, there's, you know, it, it's, it's totally worn. But it is a silver shilling. And it is exactly the same as the one that I got uh, up at the old hall that time. Except the old hall actually has Gulmus on it, William. But the one I've just found has got a better, better head, if anything. But uh, all the silver, you know, people are finding the silver coins and they're bloody immaculate. You know, oh, they're perfect, and I'm thinking, well, where are you getting them from? Because all of the old silver I get, it's obviously been in circulation for some time, and they're worn. But they are silver. <laughs> now, buttons. Nice. A nice button. Look at that. Isn't it nice? Uh, I think that's a gun. So it's an artillery button. I was in the Royal Artillery at one time, I ought to know, but I've not actually seen that particular type. And then this button. Now, this this is... This is grand, is this look. Look, 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 look. There's the lion there. And it's on a brazier. That's the word for it. It's a brazier with a fire in the top. And it's the sort of thing that they had... Uh, like in the Armada for, for lighting these braziers and passing messages. Hey, the enemy's coming. But uh, if anybody's got any info about this, I'd much appreciate it. Look at that. You would have been a very nice button when you were new. Very nice. You're old, look, you're chipping. So you're Georgian, there's no doubt about that. Now there's this. This is the, the piece I picked up at first. It's, I think, it, what is it? Is it a lid of something? A cover? I think that is the outside. So I get a good picture of this and you can try and figure out what's on it. Looks to be just decoration. Now if we turn it over, it, it has been stamped, look. So that's the reverse on that side. <laughs> that's the one that's come out better though. But I think it, it's a little lid for something, isn't it? A little cover? Um, but what? 
Come on, anyone got any ideas? <laughs> so today, oh, I was glad to get out again with the dais. <laughs> Silly old me, I let the battery run flat. <laughs> ah dear. But there we go. Um, it's producing results. I'm getting a large head coming uh, in a week or two. Um, I want to go over areas I've already been with this larger head, search head, and see if I can push down an inch or two and see if there is anything underneath what I'm already getting. So anyway, um, till we see you again, good luck, happy hunting, and may your silver be less worn than mine. <laughs> Bye. Oh, forgot to put this on the list. Tiny piece, uh, very thin hammered metal. I don't think this is silver foil. Um, wrong colour for a start. Uh, come on, get in focus. There you go, come on. There you go. Um, I think it's hammered silver. Tin foil tends to stay very, very shiny. Whereas the, I had to clean this, it was dirty. It had oxidised. Now, if I can turn this over. I'm keeping it focused, very difficult. But um, I think a piece of very thin hammered silver. But not a coin. Oh. <laughs>